fabulous home studio for recording my demo? Could I even afford such a thing? Oh yes you can. Welcome to another video from Giselle Music Motivator. My name is Giselle and this is the latest video in the series How to Break Into the Music Industry. I have put the links for all the previous videos below this one. Today we will be dealing with how to get a professionally sounding home studio on a budget for you in your own home. Let's dive in. This is not a paid ad, so everything I'm going to be talking about today, every piece of gear is either stuff I've owned or still own, and I'll be putting links below this video. When you click on them, I will be getting a percentage. But it's very, very important for you to know as a musician about recording equipment so that you can make your own recordings at home, in your own home, in your own home studio. So let's dive right in. You will soon have a great wish gift list for all your birthdays and Christmases to come. Your demo should be exactly that, a demonstration of you and how you will be performing live. So whether you're just playing the instruments yourselves or whether you're paying musicians to come in and record them for you, maybe you're just using electronic sounds, backing tracks, pads, whatever it is, be honest in your demo. Simply put, what you need for your home studio is an audio interface to record your music into your computer. So microphone or instrument into the audio interface into your computer. That's it. As the quality of today's budget gear is so much closer now than it ever was to the high-end stuff that's very expensive, I'm going to be talking to you today about budget gear for your demo. The interface I'm recommending today is the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. It's professional studio quality at a budget-friendly price. It comes with its own music software so you can get recording straight away. If you want full music production software, I love Logic. For the microphones, I recommend an Audio Technica AT 2020 condenser microphone, which is excellent for vocals and acoustic instruments. And a Shaw SM58 dynamic microphone, which is also great for vocals and miking up guitar amps. You will also need a mic stand, a mic lead, and a pop stopper. Pop stoppers reduce any unwanted vocal pop sounds, and you can fashion one, actually for free, with a pair of tights and a metal coat hanger. And that is tip number one in today's video. When you record at home, you need to deaden the ambient sound as much as possible. There are lots of cheap mini vocal booths on the market and I recommend the ones from Pile. Tip of the day number two is that you need to set up a duvet behind you to deaden the ambient sounds. Wow! You will also need a set of cans or earphones to record your vocals properly and also to work afterwards, after you've done the recording, so that you're working quietly. I recommend the Sennheiser HD206 headphones. The key here is to get closed back over the ear headphones. While not essential, MIDI keyboards are a great way to add synth sounds, pads, strings, percussion, and chords to your recordings. I recommend the M-Audio 32 key station. Depending on whether you wish to mix your own demo, you might want to invest in some monitors or speakers. I highly recommend the Presonus Eris range. Need more inputs when recording? Look no further than the Mackie Mix 8 mixing desk. Here's some more gear that you might want to add to your studio. Bass guitar. Acoustic guitar electric guitar and guitar amps. Additional items might include a music stand for your lyrics or your lead sheets. This will stop any crinkling of paper that the mic might pick up because it will be on a stand. So here you have it, pristine sounding gear at an affordable price. Remember, I've put all of the links for all of the gear I mentioned 
down below this video. Go to Giselle Music Motivator to learn more about how to break into the music industry, including how to write hit songs, more career knowledge, and how to have a great mental approach to succeed as a creative entrepreneur. If you have any questions or comments, remember please leave them below this video and I'll help if I can. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this one. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.